how you how you felt when you saw the video? When I saw the video, I felt mostly accomplished and proud of myself because I put in a lot of work into it, and I felt uh, I felt like I worked hard, and then I yes, I felt really proud of myself. How was that though, recording the video? How was it? What was the process? The shoot? The we know you had two days. I understand you were on set from as early as 6 o'clock in the morning to sunset. Um, how, how was that process for you? The, the process was only a little bit tiring because what distracted me most or what gave me the most fun was that I, get, I got to meet new friends and acquaintances. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Okay. How, how did you get involved in the video? Well, the founder, Auntie Janelle, of Operation Triple Threat, which is a singing, dancing, acting company. I am in it, and Auntie Janelle sent and said to my parents that there was some auditions for a video, and I wanted to be in that video, so my parents took me there. So when you went to do the audition, were you scared? Were you excited? Did you know what to expect? How was it? I didn't know what to expect because the director was really kind, but I also felt nervous and excited at the same time. Okay, but you overcome, you overcame that nervousness, right? Yes. I'm sure you did. You, look, you didn't look nervous at all in the video. No, I didn't. I wasn't. Okay. So tell me though, how was it um, in terms of having to, you were told what to do? How was it? You had to remember what to do? How was that process? Well, remembering what to do wasn't that quite difficult because when they gave us a lot of stuff to do, it was just a few actions and not as many movements as I thought it'd be. The only thing that was a little difficult was the walk, but I felt accomplished when I saw the video and it wasn't that bad as I thought it'd be on set, so it was actually pretty fun. Just feeling about seeing the video, are you happy with the final product? Yes, I'm very happy with the final product. I really liked how they put me in the scenes and I feel really, really proud of myself because I put the work into it and I finally got what I wanted to get. Okay. So tell me though, how you feel about being able to do something like this for Rihanna? I know it's a big deal. She's a big deal. Um, the Super Bowl is a big deal. The promo video that you guys are in is a big deal in itself. Um, do you like Rihanna? Tell me how you feel about being able to be a part of a production associated with Barbados' lone female hero and superstar. Well, I feel really, really excited and happy all at the same time. I feel very positive about that because I can't believe one of the most famous people on the planet handpicked me for that video and I feel very accomplished. And it just felt good to be in that video, honestly, because Rihanna is one of the best, one of one of the best people that I know. That's the most famous ones. Okay, very, very, very well said. So tell me, Do, um, what are some of the things your family and friends would have said to you following the release of the video? Well, they said that they were really proud of me and that they liked my, how I kept my energy up. They kept calling me superstar because because they were really proud of me, like how I was proud of myself. Even prouder. Okay. So tell me a bit about Claire. I know you go to Wills Primary. You're about to say the common entrance. Any schools in particular you have in mind you want to go to? Yes. I am planning on going to Queen's College because it's my family's tradition. A lot of people went to Queen's College in my family, and I want to be the next one. Okay, and what about what you want to be in life? You thought about that. You seem to be very intelligent little girl. You thought about that as yet? Yes, I plan to be. I plan to do. I plan to multitask, but one of the main ones I'm focusing on right now is being an animator because I've seen many movies that people have great movements of the characters in, and I want to be one of those people that also puts the work into it and use all the technology and gadgets for the drawings and sketches and movements. So when Claire is not studying, preparing for the common entry exam, what is Claire doing? What does Claire like to do for fun? Um, I really like to draw.
draw and I like to, you know, just relax and play and some t I really like hanging out with my parents because they like hanging out with me. It's not just that because I like doing activities with one another. Sometimes I like being by myself and drawing in my room, but sometimes I like being around other people and doing activities with them. Okay, and I could tell you love your parents. They're supportive of you and what your your goals and your ambitions. Yes, they. When I when I accomplish something or when I do something that at least I am proud of, they also are proud of that too. For example, video. Very well said. Um, anything else you want to add? You want to thank anybody? Anything? Well, I just want to say that when I got the auditions and when I got into the shortlist, I was really excited but also very nervous because I didn't know what to expect because I wasn't sure if I would actually get the role. Everybody was going for the head, but I'm just grateful, really grateful, that I was in the video itself. I didn't want to get cut off, so I put my work into it and I just did it. I felt really proud. Okay. You're involved in any, are you involved in OTT? Yes. I've done two productions. I've been in two productions. And what do you, what do, you do? Dance? You sing? What do you do? Dance, sing, and act. Mostly but. drama. Okay, so which one, which one of the trio, like, you prefer? Drama. Drama? Why? Because it involves many actions, expressions, and I also do that, and I also put in drama and expressions when I'm drawing. So I take some of that information from my drawing, and then I add it to when we do drama class at OTT. Okay, thank you very much.